Welcome to Pipeflow Software. This video demonstrates some basic drawing functionality within our Pipeflow Expert program to solve water flowing under gravity between three reservoirs. Let's go ahead and draw the system. We first select the tank tool and we could place a tank here. Let's place a second tank here and let's place a third tank here. We can now go ahead and select the pipe drawing tool and we could draw a pipe from the first tank, let's say down to this position here. And we're now given a first pipe reminder that gives us some information about the default values that will be associated with the pipe. We can change these values later. So it says, do you wish to change these values now? We will select no for now. We can then go ahead and draw a second pipe from reservoir two down to this position. And we can draw a third pipe down to reservoir three. If we now go ahead and select the, the show tool, we can highlight reservoir one by clicking on it and we can fill in the details of reservoir one here. Before we do that, we'll notice that the units are currently in metric and we will switch these to be an imperial. And this says all units will be changed to imperial and we confirm that. So let's go ahead and we'll set a liquid level here of 20 feet and a bottom elevation of the reservoir of 300 feet. And we can see that this information is now shown on the drawing. Let's highlight reservoir two and we will set a liquid level of 40 and a bottom elevation of 200 feet. Again, the drawing is updated. If we highlight reservoir three, let's go ahead and set a liquid level of 60 and a bottom elevation of 100. And for the point where the pipes come together from reservoirs one and two, we will set the elevation of this position to be 180 feet. And again, this is shown on the drawing. If we now highlight pipe one, we can change the details of the pipe, the length, the diameter, and the material. Let's first select the material. And we could select from any one of the materials within the database, or we could add data for our own material. Let's select cast iron. And this information is transferred here. And we are now shown the sizes for cast iron, standard sizes. We could add our own size um, at any, any particular diameter we wished. But let's choose 12 inch. This information is now copied here and we can say save this data to the pipe. We could highlight pipe two. And again, if we select material, if we choose cast iron and this time we'll select 10 inch pipe. We can just double click and save this back to the pipe. We can see the information here has been updated to say cast iron 10 inch diameter. And for pipe three, if we go ahead, and select the material, we'll choose cast iron, and this time we'll choose 12 inch pipe. Save this data to the pipe. If I go back to pipe one, we will see the length is currently set at 10 feet. We can increase this length, let's say to 6,000 feet. And this is now shown on the drawing. And for pipe two, we highlight pipe two, We'll set the length on pipe two to be 1500 feet. And if we highlight pipe three, we will go ahead and set the length of pipe three to be 3000 feet. We can uh, select the move tool and all of the nodes become highlighted and we can drag and extend uh, a particular uh, pipe and we can then go back to select the show tool. Now this hasn't changed any of the logical modeling, but it just does change the drawing uh, and makes it easy to drag and drop items to new positions. The fluid data is currently set to water. If we click the fluid database, we can choose from any one of the fluids within the database and we could add our own fluid data. This example, we will use water so we will save that back to the system. And we can then go ahead and click the calculate button to solve this system. We click calculate and the results log is now shown. 
and we're told some information that says an accurate solution was found and it gives us some information to say the Darcy Weisbach calculation method was used and if we scroll the log down we can find information about the pressure balance accuracy and the number of pipes, the number of tanks, uh, total friction losses, etc. No issues to report and we are asked do you wish to view the detailed results table? If we select yes we are now shown a spreadsheet like table which gives us, we're on the pipes tab, which gives us the information about the pipes that we entered. And as we move across the grid, we can now see the flow that has been calculated that will occur in each pipe and the velocity in each pipe. And if we scroll to the right, we can see the entry elevation of each pipe, the exit elevation, the entry pressure, the exit pressure, the difference in pressure between the start and the end of the pipe, and some further information such as the Reynolds number, the flow type in the pipe, uh, the friction factor and the friction loss in that particular pipe. This, this data can all be exported to Excel simply by clicking on the Excel button here. For now we will go ahead and close this window and we're still in results mode and on the diagram we can see the results are now shown. The, the flow is shown in feet cube per second and this information is shown here and we can zoom in to see the data. We can also hover over a pipe and in the yellow status bar at the top of the window we can see the information which gives us a flow of 5.83 feet cube per second. If we hover over pipe 2 we can see the flow that would occur in this pipe 1.86 feet cube per second and a velocity of 3.419 feet per second and similarly for pipe 3 we can see the flow and the velocity. If we hover over a node we can see the pressure at this point in the system which is shown as 23.37 uh, psi gauge and uh, as we know we set that uh, elevation of that point to be 180 feet where the pipes came together. So this gives a, a good demonstration of uh, quickly being able to draw a visual uh, representation of your system and being able to solve that system and in this case we've solved a classic three reservoir problem to solve the flows uh, under gravity uh, from two reservoirs to a common point and then joining to a single pipe down to a third reservoir.